Fernandez, saboteur. There are feats of engineering contained herein that would make even those clever fellows at the Institute real with envy. <clears throat> so, kids got mushed by the machine. And emerging, I raised my head to an uncaring sun, and I cursed this world of pain and despair. This civilization built on the ricketed bones of the unfortunate, on the greed and swell of mammon and empire. Cradling a stone egg in my jacket, I kissed my children farewell, and I crawled my way home. What? Oh, hey, kids. Um... Can a man construct himself anew? Can a man, on realizing who he is, on what he has become, tear himself apart down to the bricks and begin again? Are our souls just this tiny cogwheels and clockwork and intricate machines to serve a function that, upon reflection, we might set to a new task? Can a man, defined by his actions, defined by that which he now finds apparent to s set to sabotaging this body, his machine, till those children of his soul turn in new motion? And he may awake to a new sun, a new year, a new century with hope in his heart. As I reach my hands to the exposed wires, I ask myself this. Is redemption possible for a creature such as I? And if not, then surely better to die amongst my creations than to continue to live as a monster. It's random pigs. Okay. Pressure regulation. Where are they? Where are my children? They're dead. Don't you ask, Mendes. You know the answer well enough. Exactly. They're dead. You know that. They showed you their freaking hearts. They're dead. Children really are the most wonderful, useful creatures. The enforcers from the orphanage have proved indispensable in cleaning the larger steam pipes. It appears that the matter from the slaughtering process may indeed vaporize at source, but drifts like dust through the air and lodges in the pipes, causing them to foul. Periodically, we shut the pressure down and send one of our pixies into the pipes to scrub uh, the reconstituted fat away. Armed with just a shortened broom, our little explorers venture into the dark. Of course, we can only keep the pressure down for short periods, so they must be fast or they risk being trapped and boiled by the superheated vapors which rush back into the system. Then we'll be sending their comrades in afterwards to scrape free the cooling mess. The survivor's tummy can reach all manner of places within the complex through the pipes. I smile, tell them I am so proud, then feed them to the pigs. Dude! Stop it! No! Not be a bullshit! How do you like me now, buddy? What are you doing, little piggy? Do you think I will allow you to sabotage me again? Oink, oink. My children, you unholy bastard! Oink, oink. Where do I go now? Oh. Aha! Secrets? Or was I supposed to go that way somehow? Ouchie! 
Will it hurt them? A cleansing fire always burns, little Mandus, but it purifies and it makes anew. Did it hurt to carve out the fevered flesh? Did it hurt to cut free the gangrenous foot? Ask instead this. Can we save them? When did I say that? That is not me. That is not me! I'm pretty sure it is, buddy. Oops. Okay. Piggy. Paper. Can I have this? There's a spoon of medicine, I says, and it's a silver spoon. What you did get born holding ever so painful for Maybe the regress was so hard, it was in a little screaming red fist. Later you used your spoon to dig a hole in the garden and get all the way to Mexico. And then you did eat worms with your spoon on the way to stay fat. This spoon was the same that gave you your twins. Then you used it to dig a hole to their clockwork souls and you ate up their hearts like soup on the way to eat. Fat little mole, where will you dig next, I ask, and you and your little silver spoon made from the silver spine of your children, and wrapped in the hair of your dearly departed. Dear sweet Jesus, my darling Lilibeth, what have I become? Good question. Answer. Complete psychopath. Like, hardcore psychopath. Piggy? I feel like I should go up. I don't want to investigate. Hmm. Hmm. What? Whoa! Oh, that's not good. I went from investigating to ruining shit in a bad way. Ah, steam. I feel like I need to get through there. other pipes loops. Stop that. Start ripping the machine apart, I guess. Nope. Oh. There's one. Stop it! Seems like three should be the right number, but maybe it's not. Maybe that way is open. And it's the third one. Oh, yep, it's open. Oh. 
Oh. Well, if only to do it. I hear a pig. I should go. Hi, buddy. Bye. Oh, you're the fat bastard. I guess he's shit up here. Oh. I should run. Just a theory. Just a... Whoa. Fuck it. Yep. Yep, I should run. Come on, climb, stupid. This is your doom, Magnus. This is what you dreamt it to be. I will stop you. I will save them. You are too late. It begins. My work has begun. Kill them, my peas. Kill them all. Okay, then. Anything to save them. Of course, all the awful cannot sell for our system is donated to the workhouse, making them perhaps the best fat and unfortunates in the whole of London. Am I about out of here? Oh boy. Don't fall. Don't fall, please. I'm just getting out of here. I... Oh. Robots. What? Can? No hawking, no begging. Uh, how about no pigs? I don't see a no pigs sign, so... Whoa. Gonna go in here. Or not. Oh god, no, what have I done? I don't know. Sounds like I'm gonna rose to heaven. Shit's gone down. Like, hard. What's this? No one misses the poor. Round up some orphans in the world. We thank you for it. Disappear a whore and a gentleman applaud you. Call a beggar and a lady walk safely again. I hate them. I hate them more than any of the others. It's privilege, it's pretension. These so called leaders, these pillars of society, these rich and fanciful, they wear their filth on the inside, but they are no less dirty. I have plans for them all, and we will feed them, and then we will feed from them. Okay then. I hear fireworks. So, um. Yeah. It sounds like they're having a regular party out there. Redeem yourselves. Redemption is at hand. 
to look at myself in the mirror. Penis in hand. And my reflection grins at me and his mouth is full of sulfur mustards. Painful, he sneers. Are you really so very different? Do you generally believe your works of evil are any greater than the rest of them? You are simply a weak man, a product of his age, same as any other. This is Empire, Cretan. This is the killing idiocy, the natural result of the social Darwinism. If you are evil, then this world is evil. You just let the blood run in the street rather than hiding it in the poor house. You hold the blade and slide it into in home yourself. You do not pay a man to do this for you where you cannot see it. If you are evil, at least yours is an honest evil, and that alone makes you Mormonch. Unless I wash my hands and take to bed. Um Hi. Yeah, this is all kinds of messed up. Do you hear me, Madness? Uh huh. This is what you planned. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Apparently I had second thoughts about it. But no, you had to go and do it all on your own, didn't you, douche? Hi. Bye. Just get it through your fucking head. down again. Farming the world. Let us not be coy. I will not let us drag this corpse of civilization into a new century. Come New Year's Eve, 
I will fling the last switches and unshackle the full power of the machine. Happy New Year.